Lee Sen, y'all. This is FBI Special Agent Ted Gunderson. He was the head of the FBI for 16 years. You know all the things that we speculated about the FBI, the CIA, and all those three-letter agencies? Well, take a listen for yourself. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. I was an FBI agent from December 10, 1951, until I retired March the 30th, 1979. At the time of my retirement, I was in charge of most of Southern California. I had over 700 personnel under my command, budget of $22.5 million. I had 16 offices that I was responsible for. I had a fantastic career. In the old days, the FBI was a great organization. Unfortunately, as I said a few moments ago, it's been infiltrated by the satanic cult Illuminati movement, as well as other agencies like the NSA and the CIA and so forth. And I'll go more into detail on that. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy realist. There, there is a conspiracy. And I will prove it to you, and I'll document it. Time is very limited. I'll do the best I can in the next hour or so. But go back to go back to Pearl Harbor. Actually, go back further than that. Go back to Pearl Harbor. We knew about Pearl Harbor, December the fourth. We were attacked December the seventh. We could have pulled our fleet out of Pearl Harbor. We didn't. I've talked to the naval intelligence officer who intercepted or received that message that the Japanese code had been broken. He passed it up to his superiors. Nothing occurred. After the war, he was subpoenaed by Congress. His superior in the Navy said, "Don't worry about it. Don't go to the, the hearing." He didn't. Never heard anything more about it. Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy's assassination, it's well documented. He was murdered by the mob of Chicago, Sam G. Canna's group, and also by the CIA. Jack was going to revamp the CIA. He made his uh, personal goals and aims um, uh, public to within his circles, of course, and he was going to make some major changes. Also, he had withheld, withheld and aborted the invasion of Cuba, which upset some individuals. Um, I recently learned that uh, a fellow named I.B. Hale, who was an all-American football player, Texas Christian, uh, was ordered and was involved, he was an FBI agent at the time, in changing this, the, the route, the parade route of the Jack Kennedy group that day. I have information that the night before the Kennedy assassination, there was a meeting, a secret meeting at the Clint Murchison home, Murchison being an oil man. Those in that meeting included Lyndon Baines Johnson, and I'm sorry to say, and I regret that this is, I'm, I know this is true because I've personally documented, I've talked to people who know that this is true, J. Edgar Hoover was there. I was shocked when I learned this, and I only learned this within the last year. And the reason I know is because I talked to the maid that worked in the Murchison home that night. And when Lyndon Johnson came out of that meeting, he said to his girlfriend, Margaret Brown, who wrote a book about this, and I used to have a radio talk show in 97, 98, and I had her on my radio talk show. She said that Johnson told her, after tomorrow, we don't have to worry about that SOB Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy shot in the kitchen, the Ambassador Hotel, Los Angeles. Five bullet shots in him. There were 11 shots fired. There were uh, shot supposedly by Saran Saran, and I'm sure he was, Saran was part of it, but Saran Saran's gun would only hold eight bullets. There were three, there were extra bullets in the wall and in the hall and, and in the door. Uh, covered up. The Ruby Ridge, we all know about, uh, we had uh, Waco. Uh, it's kind of interesting because we know Posse Comitatus. It's against the law for the federal government to use military against civilian personnel. Violation of the law. Yet they brought the military personnel in. Mm. And it's kind of interesting because I know those of you who have looked at the Oklahoma City, excuse me, the Waco case, realize that there were four BATF agents who were killed in Waco. All four of those agents, in my research, took headshots. How many military men do we have out there? Raise your hand. What does that indicate to you? Sniper, right? They were shot by snipers. Four headshots, the four BATF agents. One of the headshots went from above down in through his lips and down into his body from above. There was a helicopter there by the government. Further research established that those four BATF agents at one time were bodyguards for Bill Clinton. Mm. Larry, Oklahoma City again, I'm going to go back to Oklahoma City. Terry Nichols, most recently, again, the co-conspirator in the Oklahoma City case, recently submitted, in fact, January 19th, submitted a, a document, an affidavit in the courts in Salt Lake City that Larry Watts, number two man in the FBI, actually orchestrated Oklahoma City. You don't see this in the mainstream media, do you? The 1993 World Trade Center bombing of the 
February 26, 1993. There's an article in the New York Times. I have a copy of this article. It's October 23, 1993, New York Times. And it states that the FBI had been formed in among the terrorists, Saddam, I mean, uh, Salam, and he was commissioned by the terrorists to put the bomb together. He went to his FBI handler, supervisor, told him he was the one to put the bomb together. He'd been commissioned by the terrorists. We're going to use a dummy bomber. And his FBI handler said, no, we're going to use a real bomb. The FBI not only knew in advance that they were going to bomb the World Trade Center, car bomb the World Trade Center, the FBI furnished the ingredients for the bomb. It was in the New York Times, L.A. Times. Now, what I don't understand is, do they not the senators and the congressmen of the United States read those two newspapers, right? Somebody, somebody should have looked into that and conducted an honest investigation. But then, after we had 911, do you think there was an honest investigation there? Absolutely not. Based on 28 years' experience and research, I have determined there are thousands of victims who have been targeted by an illegal U.S. government rogue criminal enterprise that is active 24 hours a day throughout the United States. A network of victims who work with me have reached the same conclusion based on one, their personal experience, these are the people that come to me, two, the significant number of victims, thousands of them, and three, the extent and intensity of the harassment. I'm talking about micro beams, I'm talking about surveillances, I'm talking about poison gas, everything the evil that you can think of. It is far too active to be operated and controlled by private enterprise. Private enterprise goals are the achieve, to achieve financial gain. These operations require extensive financing to operate with no return on the investment. I believe there, these programs are financed through illegal black operations, i.e. drugs, prostitution, gambling, kidnap children, uh, who are auctioned off as sex slaves, used as human sacrifices and body parts. I have documentation of every one of those. Absolute proof in my reports. By the way, this is a report... Speaking of my reports, this is a, uh, a book that I put together that lists, and it's also on my website, tedgunderson.com, lists my research. What I'm telling you today is written up in reports and documented. I believe this well-organized, sophisticated operation has a central command located somewhere in the United States with multiple satellite offices scattered throughout the country. This criminal enterprise by this rogue element targets an individual it is necessary to, in order to target them, they, they want to identify the individual, two, outline the reason the victim is targeted, and three, document and identify the weapons and tactics being directed against him or her. Uh, so. Did you catch all that? And to think that a former head of FBI would be lying would be crazy, honestly. See, that's the ultimate form of what you call government, because government means to control your mind, mind control. And literally, they're pointing the finger at you saying that you're the problem, but meanwhile, they are the ones that are committing the, all the egregious atrocities. That is the highest level of criminals right there. That is antichrist. That is, that is antichrist right there. So yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Like and share this video, please. America must know what the government has been doing. And again, this is for education and entertainment purposes only, please. Follow me on my other platforms where I go deeper on the esoteric level on these topics. Let's get this shit, y'all. Peace and.